So here we are at the folk shop with James and uh, really appreciate everybody's help here. We're going to show you how to put the Pete Schmidt banjo strap cradle style and hook style onto a banjo. Um, as James can show you here, the strap comprises of three parts. The adjuster strap, which is the thin narrow piece that can go all the way up the different slots of the ladder. The main body, which James is holding, and the shoulder pad, which has a nice fleece uh, backing. It, the strap comes to you uh, as James is showing you right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, what it's like to put it on as a cradle strap. And so what we do is we take the front end and start um, just feeding it through the spokes of the uh, banjo, starting with the spoke under the, um, under the neck. You want to make sure that you're starting under the neck. Thank you. Once you get to the bottom of the banjo, just let it hang out while you go and work the other end. So starting from the uh, opposite end of the banjo, uh, start feeding it through the spokes, under the spokes, and when you get down to the center, you will again let some overhang come out, which will allow us to put the Chicago screws in, which I'll show you in one second. Now we're going to show you how to put the Chicago screws on to secure it at the bottom. Just take a female Chicago screw end, put it through the last hole. The second hole of the overlapping strap, you can just put that right on top of it so that it's poking through. Take a male and just put the male in. You don't have to tighten it all the way yet until we get the other one on. So we've got another female Chicago screw part right here. We'll put it in the second hole then we'll come over with the overlapping hole right there and then we'll put the mail on okay and now with the screwdriver we can tighten those up just a little you don't have to go crazy on it but just so they're secure okay now it's secured and all we have to do is pull on the ends so that we can have that come down and you'll notice the way we did it the Chicago screws are not coming in contact with the banjo body at all well now that we've secured the Chicago screws and the strap is on as a cradle strap James is going to show you uh, what it looks like on um, and he'll go ahead and put that on get the shoulder pad nice and sitting sitting nicely on his on his uh, shoulder there and uh, that's it for a cradle strap. Now James, what do you think about that strap? Well, we've been selling banjos and banjo accessories for 26 years. This is truly the best strap I've seen. Fantastic. Okay, the next, what, the next thing we're going to do is show you how to attach it as a hook strap. Thanks James. Here we are again, part two. We're going to show you how to attach the strap um, in the other conventional style. Uh, w at first we showed you cradle. Now we'll show you the 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock method. And James will take uh, the end of the strap and go ahead and feed it through one of the spokes up at 10 o'clock and um, you have a lot of adjustability you could take a Chicago screw and put it into any hole adjustable that you want to make the strap longer or shorter and of course you still have the ability to lengthen and shorten the, st the strap by moving where the adjuster strap goes so there's a lot of flexibility so you would just put a Chicago screw in there and that would go ahead and secure it you would do the same thing over here at four o'clock you would just feed it through one of the spokes at four o'clock come back as long as you want and put a Chicago screw in that side. Thanks James. So the final way you can use this strap which is extremely flexible is that we've made it so you can actually use it as a hook strap which allows you to r remove the strap at will. Um, it would still be secured at the 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock position but now you'd have a hook in there, a clip that can come on and off. So James will show you what you would do here. We provide you with this hardware too. So he'll go ahead and put that hook on and then he would go ahead and put a Chicago screw through and that would secure the hook on this end and then he would just clip it on like you would any banjo hook strap. And you would do the same with the other end at 4 o'clock um, and you would go ahead and you would have a, a hook strap that is completely adjustable by length as well. So those are the three methods that you could do for uh, attaching the Pete Schmidt banjo strap. Many thanks to James, Paul and Steve at the Folk Shop in Tucson, Arizona.